Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Bonnet here. I'm really sorry for those who have been uh, sending me messages or for those who have uh, posted a lot of comments um, in our videos asking me uh, where, where I'm at, asking me how I am. And uh, um, We just had this business trip, um, of course, in my work. Uh, I don't know, that was for like three days, four days. Um, I don't know. Um, so I, I had, you know, I had to stop uh, posting such videos because it was a, uh, it was a very uh, busy weekend. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of shit c came up. Um, so here I am now, anyway. So uh, we can continue with our <coughs> predictions in NBA. Um, I think for today we got um, mm, ten or nine, nine games. And I just wanna, I just wanna say thank you for those who have been sending me messages asking me if I'm okay and. And if I'm good, I am. Here I am now. So we're back. Okay, we're back. So to kick things off, let's talk about um, the first game. And this is going to be Utah Jazz going up against uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. That will happen at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread given in here is minus 5.5, and that's given towards the home team, Cleveland Cavaliers. And uh, let's take a look at the standings and the rankings first before we proceed. For Cleveland Cavaliers, they are at uh, number 3 in the Eastern Conference with a record of 20 wins and 11 losses. While for Utah Jazz, um, they are at number 8 in the Western Conference with a record of 17 and 15. Okay. All right, so here we go. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they do have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams had their rest uh, last night, so we can just skip that one. Um, in terms of momentum, we got to give it to Cleveland Cavaliers. And why? Because Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they got this three-game winning streak with them. And along with that is that uh, they have won seven out of their last ten games. So they are silently on a roll. Uh, While well, for Utah Jazz approaching this game, they're coming off a loss. Okay, what do we have here? Let's uh, check on the availability of the players and the health of both teams. For Cleveland Cavaliers, I see four players is still out. Uh, Windler, Wade, Dean Wade, um, Lamar Stevens, and Ricky Rubio. Um, well, it's been like that, so nothing, nothing new, nothing new. Uh, for Utah Jazz, uh, Colin Sexton is still out, while Kelly uh, Olenek, KO, is still listed as questionable. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to make this one uh, fast and straight. I'm going to start with Cleveland Cavaliers here, minus 5.5, and let me, let me give you the reasons why. Number one, they are at home. Cleveland Cavaliers, they are very good whenever they are at home. Let me check on the standings of their home record uh, for this season. Um, they have won 14 wins and just lost twice at home. Number two, um, they got their bigs with them. They are, quote-unquote, healthy. Uh, I know I've mentioned like uh, four names earlier who are out, but they've been used to that. They, those, those players have been out for, the, for like, I don't know, for the longest time. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm talking about when I say they are healthy are their bigs. Cleveland Cavaliers, their main weapons are their bigs. Uh, they got Allen, they got Mobley, and now Kevin Love. Even Kevin Love is actually healthy. So all those three, if you are if you are point guard, that's one of your you know that's one of your dreams. You want to have very good bigs. You want to have a lot of bigs, so you got a lot of options. Especially if you're uh, Donovan Mitchell, you know uh, you're talented. You know uh, you know how to you know basically what to do with the ball. You know you know how to pass. You know how to shoot. You know how to dribble. So basically, it's all yours, and now you got those bigs around you. You got those bigs getting, grabbing those rebounds for you. Man, that's actually a point guard's dream. Number three um, is that uh, Kelly Olynyk's um, Kelly Olynyk's uh, attendance, so to speak, if it's a class, um, is gonna be huge. If Kelly Olynyk won't be able to play for Utah, man, I don't know. I don't know. But the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers would need to understand that it's gonna be the paint. Uh, which would actually be their key to their success on this game, man. Um, without Kelly Olynyk, it's going to be very hard for Utah Jazz to, you know, to grab those, uh, to grab those uh, defense and to grab those rebounds. I know they have other other bigs. Don't get me wrong. They got Mark in and they got that, you know, uh, a young guy, young seven footer guy. I forgot the name, but man, uh, we're talking about Jared Allen here, the one who dunks in front of you with one hand. 
you know. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna start with the Cleveland Cavaliers in here. I'm trying to, you know, I'm I'm trying to check on the uh, the the spread of minus five point five. I'm like maybe uh, maybe Utah would be able to cover even though they would lose, but. Um, yeah, I'm siding with Cleveland Cavaliers without Colin Sexton for Utah Jazz. That would also, and that should also hurt them a lot. So our pick would be Cleveland Cavaliers minus 5.5. Peace out. I say love and God bless.